Hi everyone, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings and I am going to make a series of videos about row relation algorithm in detail with a clear cut explanation about all the different criteria that is there in row relation algorithm. And this video, this is a series of videos, total 7 videos, it is going to explain about row relation algorithm each criteria in one video. If you are watching this video, please be noted that there are other videos maybe in front of this video or after this video which covers the entire rule resolution algorithm process. So before we get into the rule resolution algorithm and we are going to start a new training batch on PEGA from this May 31st 2022. Timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am IST Indian Standard Time. If you have any of your friends who are looking for the same you can refer them. And if any of your friends who are freshers or any one of your connections who are freshers graduated on in any degree and who have gap after education or if they are looking for a career change, I mean like if they are already working and looking for career change, you can recommend Harsha trainings which is we suggest them the best and high demanding course in the market and get them achieve their goals to get into the IT field and get the IT job. And now. This is fifth video of rule resolution algorithm process where I am going to explain about rule cache and the concept of circumstance. If you have any questions or any doubts, please post your questions in the comment section below of this video. And if you are attending interviews on PEGA, if you have any queries for which you are looking for answers, please post those questions in the comment section below. We would be happy to help you and assist you. So far, we had come across, we understood about class inheritance hierarchy. Rule set hierarchy, rule available. Now, circumstance you are already aware of. Let me ask you one question. There is a rule which is there in rule set version 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All versions it is there. Fifth version has circumstance. Condition A is equal to 10. At runtime, highest version should be picked, right? Usually, highest version has circumstance instance. So, which one will be picked at runtime? Circumstance or base version? It depends on the condition. If condition satisfied, circumstance instance will be big. Else, base instance will get big. That you are aware of, right? And rule authorization, always PRPCC rule, rule set version, rule, uh, sorry, rule set, rule, rule set, application, access group. If the access group is matching with operator's access group, it will pick that. Coming to rule cache. Coming to rule cache, I'll share you the cache tables, list of cache tables and all. See, we need to understand about cache memory mechanism. In general, in general, there is a memory type called cache memory. Apart from RAM, apart from hard disk memory, and all this, we have cache memory. The purpose of cache memory is it is for making the access faster. How it makes the access faster? That is, frequently accessed tasks or the resources will be kept in cache memory. Suppose if I am going to access Facebook for the first time in my browser, I have to type the entire URL www.facebook.com. After I type, I get the Facebook website. I close everything and let, next time I open the browser. Simply when I type EF, automatically in the IntelliSense, it will show Facebook.com. Where it is coming from? It is there in the cache. That is what we call browser cache. That's for cache memory. It is there in the cache memory. So, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, when you are trying to access, it is it is going to go to cache and pick from there the name. Directly shortcut. You take it from cache and access it. It will be a little faster access. Same is the concept in files accessing, database accessing anywhere. Database is a little different, but okay. And coming to here, Pega maintains the rule cache as tables. Imagine. I have one property in 10 versions and 10 different classes. 10 into 10, 100. Total 100 instances are there. How many records will be there in the backend table for 100 instances? In Suppose that is a property. For the same property, 100 instances are there. How many records will be there in the table? 100. It has to search through all 100 and finally find out one best instance. Correct? Imagine it has find the best instance out of 100. This particular instance of record, which it has found as a best instance, it will insert that record into another cache table. 
cash table for this property how many records are there in cash table only one in original table 100 next time when you access it won't go to original table first it will go to cash rule cash table it will directly pick from there if it is there. if it is not there then it will go to original table understand so that is what caching mechanism so is it going to be faster or not it will be faster obviously 